we are now going to identify bases and exponents. And so when we write an exponent, we have some number or variable raised to a power. We call this the base of the exponent, and we call this the exponent or the power. And both are equally valid here. Usually, though, we'll default to the exponent. Now, by definition, x to the n is equal to x times x times x times x, so that there are n x's being multiplied together. In other words, this is a repeated multiplication. Now, we want to look at some specific e examples. So suppose I start with 5 times 5 times 5. Well, my base is 5, and there are 1, 2, 3 of them. So I can rewrite 5 times 5 times 5 as 5 to the third. Likewise, if I had 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, my base is 3, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. So this becomes 3 to the sixth. Now sometimes you get something a little bit more complicated. Suppose I have the quantity negative 2x to the fifth. Well, to break this down, I could rewrite this as negative 2x times negative 2x times negative 2x times negative 2x times negative 2x. I've repeated my base 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And I've now finished the problem. So we either start with a bunch of bases and combine them to a single one, or we start with a single base raised to a power and separate it out. Both of them are very useful tools to have.